Well, let's bring Rutledge into the conversation now. I think the little boy that was said uh, Dale something, or was it a little girl Dale something, was Dale Jarrett. That's who she was talking about. <laughs> true, true. Yeah. You know, Krista, those kids, it's so fun to get to see them out there. And about four years ago, I met a young man at Kansas who loved NASCAR, loved talking about it, loved to interview drivers. It's his name is Andrew Curlin. And that same young man is here this weekend for Kids Drive NASCAR. He's also a part of the NASCAR Acceleration Program. He is a great kid who just made his JV soccer team at his high school. And he had a chance a few minutes ago to catch up with Jimmy Johnson. Take a look. Well, Jimmy Johnson has definitely been dealt his cards today at Michigan, starting from the rear of the field, and you got no practice on that car. How difficult is that? It's tough. There's no way around it. Uh, this team's capable of so much, and uh, I'm a very, very lucky guy that gets to climb in the seat and drive this low Chevrolet. Uh, we had the Jimmy Johnson Foundation paint scheme on it this weekend, and I hate that we tore that primary car up, but I feel like the paving scheme I crossed over, I uh, got the best of me to turn one and just rotated the car around, and, and that was that. So we'll uh, you know, we'll dig in deep today. It's going to take a lot to get to the front, but this team's capable of it. You said the uh, Jimmy Johnson Foundation, that's on the hood of the car, sporting some new colors this weekend. And you got the Blue Bunny Helmet of Hope, which is uh, a pretty neat deal. How special is that? It is real special. I'm going to grab the helmet real quick. Um, you know, just so fortunate to have the relationship with Blue Bunny Ice Cream. Um, and then they've made uh, a huge effort to help recognize these five uh, small charities, grassroots charities that are on the helmet. Um, they've uh, received an ice cream social, a great donation, and all, obviously some great national exposure. So uh, a great program that ties in perfectly with the paint scheme on the car. And, of course, I have to thank Lowe's for the opportunity to have the Jimmy Johnson Foundation on the car, and we hope to get her to Victory Lane today. And finally, let's shift gears. I heard you went biking for 108 miles yesterday. I can do 12 and I'm out of breath. You did 108. How do you do that? I was mad. <laughs> my last lap in qualifying and uh, really kind of my last lap on track in, uh, in practice were, were two bad laps and led to the results that I had. But I uh, just settled in on a low heart rate and cruise. I had a lot of sunlight. It's so beautiful around here. Just kind of uh, didn't ride it a tough effort, but just spent a lot of time on the bike and looking around all this great countryside. All right, well, Jimmy Johnson, although he's starting from the rear of the field today, that's nothing a seven-time champ can't handle. Absolutely. Great job, Andrew, yes. in the Blue Bunny yeah. Helmet of Hope. Uh, a lot of drivers are also wearing a special visor strip that they're going to sign and then auction off all to raise money for the Jimmy Johnson Foundation. That foundation has raised millions uh, for education programs. Jimmy making a difference in kids' lives for sure. And I'm sure he made a difference in Andrew's life there, getting to interview the seven-time champ. I this, think our jobs are in jeopardy. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. I'm all for this young guns and youth <laughs> movement on these race cars, but not yeah. here on TV. Yes. We have to draw the line somewhere. Yes. And I'm drawing it right yeah, here. Yeah, you have to have experience to That's do this. That's exactly yes. right. Now, maybe not to drive those things yes. at 215 miles an hour. Exactly. You don't do this at home, people. What you see <laughs> us do, don't do this at home. And after this show, I can guarantee you we are not biking 108 no, no miles. Way. I don't no care way. how mad you make us, Christy. <laughs> I got a bike with a motor. I'll, I'll go. <laughs> well, coming up, speaking of kids, uh, there are some on the track. That would include Eric Jones. Eric Jones grew up not too far from the track where he'll be racing today. Up next, we'll head to his hometown of Byron, Michigan, a place that's small in size but big in heart.